द मोमेंट दैट यू अप्लाई फॉर दैट जॉब एंड योर रेज्यूमे रिचेस इन द हैंड्स ऑफ रिक्रूटर योर इंटरव्यू स्टार्ट कन्फ्यूज लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दीज डेज रिक्रूटर्स डोंट जस्ट लुक इन टू योर रेज्यूमे बट दे एक्चुअली लुक फॉर यू ऑनलाइन एज वेल लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल लेट सपोज यू मेट सम वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एट ए कॉन्फ्रेंस हु इज वेरी नॉलेजेबल एंड यू वेर इंस्पायर्ड बाई हिम वट डू यू डू नेक्स्ट यू फाइंड दैम ऑन लिंकड इन एंड बेसिकली कनेक्ट विद दैम टू नो वॉट दे आर अप टू दीज डेज सिमिलर टू हाउ वी चेक आउट पीपल हुम वी फाइंड इंटरेस्टिंग रिक्रूटर्स ऑल्सो रिसर्च देयर कैंडिडेट्स मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम टू बेसिकली सेव दम सेल्स हायरिंग द रॉन्ग कैंडिडेट Now listen carefully because this might be very important for you. Over the past 3 years of experience that I have had in this corporate world, one thing is for sure, rather than applying jobs in the job portal, you get much more opportunities and much better opportunities through your own network and people actually hire from their own network. And one of the stepping stone of building your own network is to build your digital presence because having an online presence is a leverage that you can have to build your network many folds. It's not just about gaining more interviews. You can have many more other leverages by having a digital presence. So let's talk about how we can build a developer portfolio that gives us leverage in this software engineering industry. So the first thing is finding unheard opportunities. When I talk to developers about what do they mean by having a developer portfolio, many of them will answer that developer portfolio is just a showcase of your work. Basically, if you are interviewing with someone, you can showcase all your work in one place using your website. But let me tell you this, the purpose of developer portfolio is not to showcase your work. It is about building that leverage that authority even before the interview have actually happened if people are finding about your portfolio before they find you then your portfolio is creating that first impression to basically consider you for an interview and if you get these unheard opportunities they are like gems for you because there is always a difference between people approaching you for the job and you are applying for the job when you are applying for the job from nokri.com or indeed.com basically what happens is you are asking to basically consider you for an interview whereas when someone approaches you which happened to me many times that's where you can find the contrast difference in the entire interview journey to be honest the interview is slightly smooth and interviewer already knows what kind of person you are and what kind of tech skills that you bring to the table so during that time the interview goes according to you not according to some pre-written script of list of interview questions that's why having a solid portfolio in the internet or a website to your own name where you showcase everything that you do is such a crucial thing because it brings you unheard opportunities opportunities that you won't find in any job port in any job portal because they are hiring via network a network that you can build by sharing your work in the internet Now the second thing that portfolio helps is to skip the ATS line. Well, if you are like me, a developer with a builder mindset, you don't care much about resume and optimizing your resume with the keywords of exact job description and spending hours to tailoring your resume, optimizing it for that one job application that has close to 99% rejection rate. But according to the general survey, 75% of the resumes are already getting rejected by ATS. the application tracking system and no it's not a person that is rejecting you it's the machine that is rejecting you so having high hopes from getting shortlisted by ats as a fresher is a totally waste of time i'm not saying that you shouldn't apply online via job portals all i am saying ki don't just optimize your resume for each job role and spend hundreds of hours applying when you could have done much better things with that time now here is something that will differ from all career advices that you get from other career gurus is that they will tell you that you have to optimize your resume make the keywords match with that resume and basically optimize for the ats filter the machine to not reject you but that's just part of the equation you are missing out on lot more things by focusing in the wrong direction instead of just making your resume ats friendly you should start by building your worth your value 
and showcase your work to the developer communities because most of the times when you start posting something online maybe in dev2 portal maybe in hashnode blog maybe you can have your own personal portfolio or linkedin post or videos these kind of thing actually build visibility for you and you know what after maybe spending 6 months 1 year maybe 2 years at most your visibility and reach has grown to such an extent that you start getting offers interviewers start reaching you out rather than you trying to reach out to them and this is what happened to me as well recently when i was looking for new opportunities so the bottom line here is do not try to optimize your linkedin profile or your resume just focus on creating value and sharing that value in other platforms and building in public is one of the best things that you can do but that's for another video let's focus on building that platform where you can share all your work the developer portfolio is the right place where you can collect everything from blogs articles your videos whatever you post in different social media accounts you can actually grab the insights from that and create a blog post out of it in your portfolio and this is what i have been doing for past one year as well and let me tell you what i am still working on it and there is a long long road to go ahead but it's all worth it because once you have that domain authority in you then opportunities come running for you you might have heard about that famous quote from three idiots that once you become worthy enough opportunities find you rather than you finding the opportunities and that was a very valid line and you will realize this once you are in the industry for more than 2 to 3 years now speaking of building domain authority let's talk about our third point of building a developer portfolio that can actually help you it's that having a developer portfolio transforms you from being an average coder to an expert one when you start sharing as much as you know first of all you start learning about yourself you start thinking deeply about what you are learning which in turn improves your learning and understanding and this is what i have been doing in this channel as well so sharing as much as you can as much as you know becomes the key here because this establishes your domain authority as well as helps you learn in much deeper way now you might question that if you are sharing all the things that you know online then that will basically bring the people that are following you watching your videos to the same level as you are and you will somehow lose that expert status because now rest of the people are also knowing that right wrong because you know what the more freely you share your knowledge insights experiences with the community the more valuable the market perceives you and so with that note we come to our final point is that once you have fairly established yourself as a domain expert at a particular domain be it front end back end full stack engineering database engineering machine learning or any other thing this is when opportunities will start finding you you will be reached out by the startups that are growing and building some of the amazing projects and who knows you may be part of some disruptive startups as well and i kid you not well funded startups always pay higher even higher than google and facebook and this is some hidden knowledge that you won't get anywhere else and all it takes is to build your own personal brand your domain authority but i need to warn you first that it's not always the roses and sunshine everywhere building your personal brand takes time a lot of time and effort it has this snowball effect it's very hard to pull off initially but once you keep rolling and you roll and roll and you spend more time more effort into it at later point of time it gets easier a way lot easier and the magnifying effect that it has to your career is something that you won't get by sitting at a corner of your room and basically coding yourself without sharing anything without telling anybody and finally your project dies inside your github without getting any eyeball from anyone and creating any kind of impact i mean that's sad but that's the harsh truth many people 
people just code their personal projects even clone others personal projects into their own just to get jobs but what's the purpose of that when there is number of unheard opportunities lying in front of you waiting to find you if you just put in the work so if you have started feeling the fomo of having a developer portfolio or sharing your work online let me tell you or show you what i am doing as a developer to share my work in the online space so here is my personal portfolio which is bitsofmandal.com i will share the link in the description below but have a look this is very minimalistic and i have kept it clean also i have mentioned all my projects over here and my youtube channel of course and then there is learnings blogs i am currently have integrated it with hashnode and all of these blogs are coming from hashnode and this is just some filler data i will definitely post some blogs into it that's for sure <laughs> but anyways look into this so first of all building my personal portfolio hasn't have to be very much aesthetic or eye catching i kept it minimalistic as well as elegant for the people to see and and whenever they come to my platform they immediately know about what i am about and what i share about what i talk about and all of the skills that i hold and if you click in one of these skills it will show all the blog articles down below here related to that particular skill and if i click on the golang then it will sort out all the golang tags over here so that's kind of amazing next is the reason behind i kept it minimal is i want to make it seo friendly it should load faster in the google as well as google bot should be able to index it properly and third guiding principle is that the text stack i used so here i used bare minimum next js project i used react and uh, next js of course i had to list all the blocks which would require me a cms but even then i chose the minimal path i used the hash node backend and the apis to manage all my blocks and rest of the content are static content and of course i am sharing all my videos in the youtube channel and all the other social media platforms to basically teach people and build my own domain authority so here is what you can do in order to build your own domain authority first of all you can have to build a developer portfolio your own website then you have to improve your github so here again i am not talking about github optimization that is very vague thing to do i mean i am talking about adding more projects building more projects will immediately improve your github profile you can pin all your projects and that's it you don't have to do much you don't have to mention anything in the about section even though that's a plus point but optimization comes later you have to build your authority first then after you are building your projects then you can always mention your projects in other social media platform even when you are actually building the project you can post something in the linkedin and people will absolutely love it even when i started this channel i started sharing my own learning and you know what my first 50 videos were never ever the best videos i in fact i feel slightly embarrassed watching those same videos again but that's the point you have to get over the fear of rejection and start posting today in order to build that domain authority and third is technical blog writing well you can write for yourself in your own portfolio as well as you can be a ghost writer you can write on other developer platforms there are a number of developer platforms where you can write your own blogs your own learnings as well as they will pay you for it so you can definitely go that route it will definitely build lot of connection you will interact with lot many engineers and in return apart from that monetary benefit you will also find lot of opportunities lot of work to do you can build your own personal brand starting from that first developer portfolio it doesn't have to be very fancy you can just get started with a very minimal website you might have already witnessed it that some people are getting way more opportunities than you are even though they don't have much talent and the purpose of this video was to show you that particular way which you can follow to grab those unheard opportunities so that's it for today's video stick around for the next one and subscribe